Today we're just driving the all-new Chevrolet Volt and we're gonna do a fuel economy test to see how well it performs. As you can see right now, I have a full tank of fuel and on this full tank my fuel range is estimated to be 503 kilometers before I run completely out of fuel as you can see down in the faint text. Also our EV range is 91 kilometers and I just charged up our battery to the point where it said it was fully charged just so I am sure that it is fully charged before I start this test and let's get our test started and we're gonna be doing this test over a week and see how many kilometers we complete and after that we'll hit the gas station to see how much it costs to fill up so stay tuned <music> We just spent about 100 kilometers driving. As you can see, our odometer on the top left reads 3214 kilometers. When we started out, it read 3114 kilometers. And you'll notice at the bottom left, our EV range that's remaining is two kilometers. I wanted to leave that two kilometers on there uh, and not deplete it just because I wanted to actually show you that I'm not just driving with uh, a zero kilometer range, a battery range, and uh, using some fuel as well. I actually have only used my battery so far. So what we'll do is we'll take the 100 kilometers that we've driven so far and add a potential of two kilometers of EV range, and that gives us a total of 102 kilometers on the battery. Now, this is completely using the battery. Uh, you'll notice that my fuel range on the bottom right has depleted slightly, but that's just in anticipation based on uh, the driving conditions. It has nothing to do with the fuel that was used because no fuel was used so far during this test. What the Volt does is it actually makes sure that you deplete your battery. What I wanted to do as well was calculate the cost of charging the Volt back to a full battery. And that is done by taking our residential off-peak hour rate per kilowatt hour. In our city, it is 0 0.065 per kilowatt hour. So that's 6.5 cents. So what we'll do is we'll take that 6.5 cents and multiply that by the volts battery capacity, which is 18.4 kilowatt hours. So 0 0.065 multiplied by 18.4 kilowatt hours gives us 1.20 so that's a dollar 20 to charge the volts battery back up what i'm going to do now is add the tax to that as well so so 1.20 add 13 percent tax to that that gives us a dollar and three six so that's a dollar and 36 cents to charge the volts battery back up so after the battery is charged back up you can expect to drive the volt for another 102 kilometers based on my driving this is just a quick video to show you how the engine comes into play when powering the vehicle. As you can see, we're driving at speeds around 90 kilometers an hour. And so far, we are driving on engine power strictly. When you do get to cruising around 90 kilometers an hour, you'll notice that the engine does shut off. Uh, or actually, what it does is it powers the engine simultaneously along with the battery. Like right now, because we're driving on a pretty flat road, it's using strictly the engine, but now it's using the engine and the battery to power the vehicle. And when it uses the engine and the battery, it obviously uses less fuel as a result, giving us fuel economy that you see on screen of 5.2 liters per 100 kilometers. When you're driving on the highway, you're not going to get the best fuel economy as when you drive in the city because when you do drive in the city, you don't use the engine as much because at city speeds, the vehicle is more dependent on the battery to power it up to city speeds. But because you're driving on the highway, you're driving at high speeds, and you're not braking, so you're not regenerating power for the battery. So as a result, the engine is constantly being used during your drive, and as a result, your fuel economy 
is lower, as in you'll probably do worse off driving on the highway in terms of fuel economy. We just spent a week testing the Chevrolet Volt and we have some numbers here we'd like to share with you. As you can see, our odometer currently reads 3,532 kilometers. When we started this test, our odometer read 3114 kilometers and we drove it all electric up until 3216 kilometers, which is a total of 102 kilometers all electric. After we ran out of EV range, the gasoline engine kicked in, uh, complementing the battery, but we didn't have any EV range left and on that we were able to do between 3216 kilometers to 3532 kilometers on the odometer which is a total of 316 kilometers on the gasoline engine. Now if you add 102 kilometers electric and 316 kilometers on the gasoline engine you get a total of 418 kilometers of driving that we did in this test. My driving conditions have been pretty basic. I haven't had the air conditioning on at all but I have had the sound system on the whole time. Also worth mentioning is I did around 50% of my driving in the city and another 50% on the highway, just to give you an idea of how I got the numbers that I did. You'll also notice that we have a half tank of fuel left. As you can see, we're at the fuel station right now and we're gonna fill it back up and based on that, we'll do some calculations to get a better idea of how much you can expect to spend on a full tank of fuel, as well as your actual fuel economy based on my driving. As you can see, we spent $19.05 to fill up 15.3 liters of fuel at a fuel cost of $1.23.9 per liter. As you just saw, we spent $19.05 to fill up 15.3 liters of fuel at a fuel cost of $1.23.9 per liter. Also worth noting is the fuel capacity of the Volt is 34 liters or 8.9 gallons. What we're going to do now is we'll calculate our kilometers per liter number. And how we're going to do that is we'll take the 316 kilometers that we've driven so far and divide that by the 15.3 liters of fuel that we filled up. So 316 kilometers divided by 15.3 liters gives us 20.7 kilometers per liter. That means on every liter of fuel, you can expect 20.7 kilometers of driving. Next, what we're going to do is calculate our actual fuel range based on my driving. And how we're going to do that is we'll take the 20.7 kilometers per liter number that we achieved and multiply that by the fuel capacity, which is 34 liters. So 20.7 kilometers per liter multiplied by 34 liters gives us 703 kilometers. That means that on a full tank of fuel, based on my driving, you can expect 703 kilometers of driving. What we're going to do now is we'll calculate our cost per kilometer. And how we're going to do that is we'll take the $19.05 that we filled up for and divide that by the 316 kilometers that we drove in the gasoline engine. So $19.05 divided by 316 kilometers gives us 6 cents per kilometer. That means that every kilometer in the Volt costs us 6 cents. And finally, what we're going to do is we'll calculate our cost of a full tank of fuel. First, let's do it for Toronto, Canada, where the fuel price is $1.239 per liter. So $1.239 per liter, multiply that by the fuel capacity of the Volt, which is 34 liters, gives us $42.12 Canadian. So a full tank of fuel, if you were to fill up in Toronto, Canada, would cost you $42.12 Canadian. Now let's cross the border into Detroit, USA, where the fuel price is $2.50 per gallon. So $2.50 per gallon, multiply that by the Volt's fuel capacity, which is 8.9 gallons, gives us $22.25 US. So a full tank of fuel, if you were to fill up in Detroit, USA, would cost you $22.25 US. How does this compare to your fuel economy? Let us know in the comments below.